boss Peter Griffin is back and his spirit is trapped in the underworld as well as the arrival of the mysterious iceberg and its new insane events. We're breaking it open. We have talked a lot about the arrival of this surprising iceberg to our Greek god themed season but it now seems we can visit the iceberg ourselves as well as participate in its ice breaking mini event. Yeah, whatever's inside the iceberg, we have to set it free. New information has revealed the exact location where this iceberg has collided with our island. That's because there are three stages to this mini event and each stage it will get closer and closer. The location of the iceberg will end up here in the northeast of our island and uh, right now it might seem empty <gasps> but when you arrive here in game it looks a little different. Seekers have managed to get all three stages from the game's files and this is what it will look like. Flying around the iceberg we get a taste of its size, shape as well as the fact that these three stages of the iceberg are not very far apart. I mean we knew the iceberg would be slowly making its way to the islands but come on epic. Stage one is here and stage three is literally here. Yeah really big Building up the hype, huh? Not just this. It also seems we are getting a mini event in which we, the players, will have to break the ice to release whoever is inside. We currently believe two characters, Aang and Appa, from the show Avatar, are frozen inside and they need freeing. In the television show, two characters find this glowing ice ball in the ocean, proceed to literally start hitting it to break the ice. It seems Epic Games has something like this planned for this mini event upcoming event in game. I mean, after all, we just had the Pandora's chest event, but we the players had to destroy the chains to set the Pandora's box free. Epic has brought back these interactable mini events to Fortnite, so it seems it's gonna happen again. And it might even be possible to start breaking the ice right now in game. As if you come to the location where all the stages of the iceberg are to spawn, it is... Ooh. Ooh. Yo, it's right there! There it is! It's uh, what we uh, will be saying, but it actually arrives to the game. <laughs> uh, yo, where is it, Epic? Uh, no. Right now, the iceberg has not arrived on the shores of our island. But with the Avatar collaboration releasing next week, we should expect this iceberg to be in our game any day now. There may be no iceberg yet, but Epic Games has added its most insane secret yet, and his name is Peter Griffin. Underworld Peter Griffin. With the society being destroyed, players were beginning to miss boss Peter Griffin, who was removed at the start of season two. He was a fan favorite, and it now seems that Epic Games had taken note. Rumors started to spread that Peter Griffin might not actually be finished in the Fortnite storyline. With the Peter Griffin elimination animation, which played every time players defeated Peter. The animation seems to still be in the files. And at Snooty Steps, where boss Peter Griffin once spawned, all of the Peter Griffin logos and statues have actually remained in game. Even though Peter Griffin is no longer there. Very suspicious. But in the latest update, it seems Epic Games had a secret plan to bring him back to Fortnite. And it has everything to do with the underworld. Something is happening at the underworld location. Hades seems to be collecting the souls of important characters and even consuming them to make himself more powerful. And this can be seen with characters across our island that are turning into underworld ghouls. Take Ascended Midas, who has now been consumed by the power of the underworld spirits and has become Shade Midas. He is in game right now, so it seems possible that other bosses could also be consumed consumed by the underworld spirits in our game right now. Upcoming quests confirm that Peter Griffin is surviving back into game and it's all thanks to Cerberus. Upcoming snapshot quests for Siberus reveal that players will have to dig up dog toys at special locations including here at the windmill and 
Woods at the Society Cemetery. Yeah, you heard right. The cemetery location is now called the Society Cemetery, confirming that all the defeated members of the Society, well, they were all laid to rest here, confirming that they were actually removed from Fortnite storyline forever. But why is this connected with the Siberus upcoming snapshot quest? Why would the gatekeeper of the underworld be digging up around these locations? Well, the most obvious answer might be that the hounds from the underworld is looking for the souls of the society. This is where their souls would be found if they were officially defeated. It's possible that Siberus has been sent on a mission to uncover the souls of these society members and bring them back to the underworld. Seems possible. Hey, looks like Hades wants the souls of the society back in the underworld. I uh, believe at the time of recording this video that these quests are not currently in game. Nope. So this has not yet yeah, started. But the actual location of this underworld boss Peter Griffin is in game. And I'm gonna show you exactly where it is. Hey yo, ninja chill. Hey <laughs> yo, bro got out there super fat. Hey yo! Don't go thinking I forgot about your ugly looking face, boy. Bro, I don't care if they're a bot. I'm gonna do it anyway. On the surface, there are only like two locations in the underworld, but it's not actually true. There is a third location where this Peter Griffin underworld boss is supposed to spawn. Ah, but just super quick whilst we're here and we were talking about Siberus, Cerberus, whatever. I need that medallion. Bro, isn't there supposed to be some dogs that spawn it? <laughs> Bro, a real loser, dog. That's crazy. Bro, a real loser. What? I know you're literally right over there, dog. I know you're over there. What the? He's underneath me? Hey, bro, you're not him, dog. Chase! Alright, back on with the video. Yes, sir. There's actually one other location in the underworld which most players don't know about. And it's been left empty since the start of this season. If you actually follow the river of the underworld, all the way from Grim Gate to the actual underworld where Hades resides, you can find a pretty interesting location that Epic Games is waiting to update. And if I'm not mistaken, uh... Hey, old Peter? Yeah, apparently there is this whole location that's been completely built. And and at the moment, it's not in use. But some players believe... Ooh, yo! Yo! They weren't kidding, huh? Peter! It's you! From the underworld! Huh? Where'd this dude come from? Oh, stop playing, dog. Hey. Ah, no. Peter Griffin is not yet in the game, but this seems to be one of the locations where he could possibly spawn. It's the only location that has unique props and would make the perfect place for a boss to spawn from the underworld. And that would be pretty epic. Yes. Oh, bro, we can do that if you want. We can do that. Oh, that item's good. Look at this dude. Bro, it started off real sick, and then it quickly went downhill. Who's to blame? Ah, probably me. 